Hi everyone and welcome to the Puget Sound Navy Museum's first Anchored in History walking tour. Today we're sticking pretty close to home. We're at Evergreen Rotary Park located just a few blocks north of the museum. And we're beginning today's tour near Kitsap County's 9-11 Memorial dedicated to the men, women, and children who lost their lives in the attack of September 11th, 2001. Visit to touch steel pulled from New York's World Trade Center and limestone taken from the damaged Pentagon and read stories of the four destroyed airliners. Nearby, there's a relic of the Navy's World War II presence. Let's head over there now. It's just outside the south end of Evergreen Park, near the corner of 13th and Highland. This is one of Bremerton's more unusual buildings. This Quonset hut is believed to have been built by the Navy during World War II possibly for fuel storage. These sturdy steel buildings were designed to withstand everything from small arms fire to hurricanes. The military used them all over the place during World War II as an efficient, quickly built shelter for barracks, offices, commissaries, chapels, movie theaters, and more. They were especially useful on the islands of the Pacific as the Navy Seabees quickly built up bases during the war. Next, we're going to head through the park to the north to see other historical sites. The story of both world wars is all around us here in Evergreen Park. During World War I and World War II, this area was taken over by the federal government and used for the training and housing of military personnel, though little trace of those activities remains today. However, if you look across the water, those apartments in East Bremerton began life as officer housing during World War II. But here in Evergreen Park itself, many of its past uses are gone without much of a trace. This park was once an industrial zone with steam laundries, coal storage, and oil tanks. One of the underground oil tanks was actually once a Navy ship. Though it was rumored for many years to have been a submarine, it is now thought to have been USS Fox, a torpedo boat. Built in Portland, Oregon and commissioned in 1900, she was based mostly in California until 1913 when she was loaned to the Washington State Naval Militia in Aberdeen before being sold into private hands in 1916. Sometime between the World Wars, she was purchased and grounded by Bremerton Oil to be used as a fuel storage tank. It was later filled in and abandoned. It's thought that she still lies here beneath our feet. The next attraction in the park is a pair of 40 millimeter guns from USS West Virginia. The battleship USS West Virginia was commissioned in 1923. On December 7, 1941, she was at Pearl Harbor and was badly damaged in the attack. She was later refloated and came to Bremerton's Puget Sound Navy Yard for repairs. Bremerton ended up repairing five battleships damaged in the attack on Pearl Harbor. They came to be nicknamed the Ghost Fleet because while Japan had declared them sunk in the surprise attack, they came back to haunt the Japanese fleet for the rest of the war. USS West Virginia was able to return to service in 1944. After the war's end, she came back to Bremerton, where she was deactivated. She remained in the reserve fleet until 1959, when she was sold for scrap. It's not known at what point these guns were removed from the ship and placed here in Evergreen Park. Other guns from the same ship can be found elsewhere in the city, including at Illahee State Park, and at the corner of Wheaton Way and Sheridan Road in East Bremerton. Evergreen Park also hosts a historical site from the First World War. This memorial, which was unveiled as part of the Veterans Day ceremonies back in 1962, honors 20 local residents who fought in World War I. The names listed here include Bremertonians who served in every branch in the armed forces. The most recognizable name is that of Wesley Harris, a Marine who was killed in France in September of 1918. Camp Wesley Harris, a military firing range off Seabeck Highway, is named for him. There are also several Navy sailors, including John Crowley, who was a plumber living on 4th Street in Bremerton in 1917. He served on USS Philadelphia, a cruiser, and was accidentally shot in 1918. Peter Mason, a sailor born in Wisconsin, served aboard USS Chippewa during the war, making his way to Bremerton in the 1920s. He died in 1959 and is buried in Bremerton's Ivy Green Cemetery. 
We hope you'll visit to read the names and honor all 20 men listed here. Finally, we'll be ending our tour at another World War II site. For this one, we're going to walk along the park about a half mile north to the western end of the Warren Avenue Bridge. This big concrete block once anchored giant balloons. During World War II, hundreds of barrage balloons moored on both land and water deterred dive bombing. These large balloons were anchored by thick anchor cables designed for approaching aircraft to become tangled and disabled. In those days, everyone knew a friend of a friend whose chimney had been taken out by a barrage balloon that had come unmoored during high winds. This photo of the Bremerton waterfront, taken on July 2, 1942, prominently features the balloons that protected the area from attacks. Thank you for joining me on this exploration of Bremerton's Evergreen Park neighborhood. Follow the Puget Sound Navy Museum's Facebook page for more local naval history, and I hope you'll join us on July 4th as we explore Manchester State Park. Thanks!